I heard Dana White is not saying good things about you. Yeah, brother, I don't understand what's the problem. You know, yes, uh, Al Jamai Sterling is my friend, my teammate, my spark partner, and we've been pushing to each other. We've been helping to each other. We, you know, we're training together. And um, yeah, because uh, why before, why we have to fight to each other? You know, we there it was so many other guys that we can fight. And then the, it was the point that Aljo was champion. I was number one contender, and um, and uh, and then but I was still fighting other guys. Yeah, winning Aljo has some other opponents, and then uh, and then it was and Aljo was gonna change the weight class, and everything was good. You know, we was just trying to not right. Not you guys had a plan. Other. You guys had a plan. Yeah. Well, here's here's if I'm the UFC, right? It's like yeah. one of the potential greatest bantamweights ever gets defeated and the next in line and his training partner wants to revenge his loss. Sorry. I think that's like the UFC should have you next in line to fight O'Malley and they can market it as you fulfilling yeah. Aljamain's revenge. I agree, brother. Yes. Yeah, exactly. This is perfect for marketing. You know, uh, there is so many ways that they can they can promote the fight. I'm Aljo's friend. I stole O'Malley's jacket. I've been calling him out since 2018. Since I win my first fight in UFC, I was calling O'Malley. And, um, and then now UFC should give Aljo rematch or or me not like a, when when they try to like all Chito no all O'Malley trying to fight Chito Vera bro who's Chito Vera he's the rank six you know he don't deserve a title shot you know like he's ranked six yeah he's, and he's getting six. pushed to the front of the line he has a win over Vera I mean yeah. uh, over O'Malley okay how many years ago. It's just a thing. It's a thing that happens. Dana's comments. I don't know if you heard them. I think they are taken a little out of context, but he was asked a question about you. So that's like, what do you do there? Do you hit up the matchmakers? Do you try to contact Dana and say like, no, I'm the guy. Not fighting nowhere else. I'm fighting O'Malley for the belt. Like, what do you do when you hear the boss say some stuff like that about you? I don't know. Because I... UFC, whenever they open the opponent, I always say yes. And I was fighting because, yeah, as Danny knows, we don't have many choices. We, you know, you know, at least if you're champion, then you can complain. Maybe I guess you can choose whatever, but I never choose. Aljo never choose. I'm sure Dennis, you never choose too. And I was fighting everybody. So now I, I'm just talking and uh, hoping then. Uh, if not Aljo for next for title, I, I'm hoping that I'm fighting because I know I deserve it. 